Silent Hill is one of the most iconic locations in horror genre. In the game, the town appears differently to everyone who visits it. This unique approach presents a visual representation of our deepest fears and emotions. For me, the town behaves like another character because it reflects the emotions of the people that are in it. The same applies for the level design because it mirrors those emotions. You can observe it with environment, with its creatures, with the puzzles, with the level design and the places that you are like exploring. But the biggest fun lies in the moment when you don't know yet what to do. You wander through those foggy, empty streets. You bump out from one door to another. And in the moment of the biggest desperation, you may find something more interesting looking. So I definitely wanted to make sure that the fans could experience the iconic Silent Hill the same way as they could ex experience it in 2001. So for that reason, you're gonna find a lot of customizable gameplay options that will basically allow you to craft your own Silent Hill, perfect Silent Hill experience. But we didn't stop just there. We wanted to accommodate to the players who also have some physical limitations. For that reason, we spent some time developing different accessibility options that they could access. And one of them is the high contrast mode that will allow you for easier navigation through the town of Silent Hill. I think the best approach to deal with innovation in a new entry of a franchise or in a remake is through embracing nostalgia. Not deny what people loved about the franchise. There is a reason why it's so inspirational after so many years. And the town design remains quite faithful, but in the remake we really wanted to give the players the ability to visit places that we couldn't visit in the original game. Maintaining the right uh, balance between innovation and nostalgia was definitely one of our big challenges. But I think we got it right because besides being just developers, we were also big fans of the franchise first. And so every design decision that we made was having Silent Hill in our hearts and knowing that um, it's such a big legacy that we have to basically honor it. The fog is a crucial element in the game, serving multiple design purposes. It's not only an effective tool for generating fear or optimizing performance, but it also carries deep symbolic meaning for James's story, pouring the truth from him as he navigates through the town. The very feeling of being lost creates a notion of horror. The essence of darkness is to hide things, and what we fear the most is unknown. In darkness, our imagination starts working and manifests stronger images than any real representation of danger. The decay has a more symbolic meaning. It refers to Mary's illness, but also it represents what is inside of James. We put a lot of effort into creating the fog in a very specific way. It crawls through the streets, clings to objects and changes direction like a living organism. It's almost like it is another character in the game. We are using the volumetric fog uh, on, the, on the locations to keep the atmosphere as we want it, keep the, a bit of mystery and keep the players feeling of a slowly incoming danger and curiosity what is behind it. Later on in the game, we added to the volumetric fog also a bit of Niagara systems to have it more dynamic and produce some events for the player to, to achieve different feeling, not the static one, but more dynamic and to give a bit surprise for them. Uh, a lot of puzzles we had covered with a cloth. 
uh, which for me as a player gave me the feeling that I don't know what, what is behind it. It's a bit of mystery for me and uncovering the, the puzzle with the, with the cloth was, uh, was like opening the gift and I discovered something to play with. So I'm hoping that the players will have the, the same experience as, as we had. The horror in Silent Hill 2 is so effective because it's subtle and doesn't rely on cheap tricks. We fear most what we cannot see. The greatest terror comes from our imagination as our minds fill the gaps with our own worst fears. We will be afraid to walk down the dark corridor, but you will know that the truth in this game lies in the deepest shadows.